you may have observed the effects of UV radiation in discos as clothes glow when exposed to UV radiation from a mercury lamp. Ultraviolet radiation has a wavelength of approximately 10 to the minus 7 meters, which is shorter than the wavelength of visible light. The main source of ultraviolet radiation is the sun. UV spectrometry is used to detect the presence of certain functional groups in molecules. It may also be used in the quantitative analysis to measure the concentrations of certain organic compounds in solution, for example, plant pigments and drugs. The principle of ultraviolet absorption spectrometry is that absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of a substance. The processes that occur in ultraviolet spectrometry are summarized as follows. A solution of the substance being analyzed is placed between a source of UV light and a detector. The substance being analyzed is contained within a cuvette, which is typically made of quartz, as this does not absorb UV light. The detector measures the intensity of the light reaching it. This instrument measures the absorption of UV radiation by the solution over a range of wavelengths. In general, depending on the compound, maximum absorption tends to occur at a particular wavelength. This helps to identify the compound and also to measure the concentration of the compound in solution. A UV absorption spectrum is obtained as shown on the computer screen. A printed copy of the UV spectrum may also be obtained. In practice, UV spectrometry is commonly used in conjunction with HBLC to detect the presence of compounds such as transition metals, drug metabolites, plant pigments, and also to measure their concentrations. This concludes our study of ultraviolet spectrometry.